Hey guys, what's going on? MCD here, and uh, today we bring you the mod review for a kind of an old um, weapon mod. This time we're going to take a look at the Mauser C96. This is a weapon made by Millennia. It's kind of old. It was released in November last year, but it's still a really good mod. I really like how it looks just right off the back. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to endorse the mod if you want, if that's what you like to do but anyway thank you for watching leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the video subscribe if you haven't already and yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching all right so the monster c96 can be found at doc's mitchell house specifically on his bedroom near the uh, chessboard but anyway, you can see that the damage is 22, strength requirement 1, weight 2 pounds, value 290, really, really low stuff right there. 9mm rounds and requires 0 gun skill, it also comes with 2 mods that we're gonna be checking later. Uh, so just for the hex of it, we're gonna hotkey to number 1. Alright guys, so this is a work by Millennia, so you can see that this stuff is really high quality, really good stuff. I know I kinda bashed on the M4A1, I believe that was its name, for not having a really good texture. But this one has a really good texture and it's kind of old like the M4A1. Even though it's old, it's really good. The model is also really freaking awesome, which was made by Ben Bolton. He's the guy that made the model and Millennia of course made the texture. So you can see right there it says Mosser, really cool stuff. Or Mosser, Mauser, hmm, however you might pronounce it. Your finger kind of clips through the trigger but that's not a big deal. You guys might also uh, kind of remember this weapon if you ever played uh, Resident Evil 4 which is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, this would be the uh, Red 9 which was a really cool pistol inside of that game. Alright, so here we have the first person view which looks really awesome. The iron sights are really awesome on this thing. I really like this weapon, it's really shiny. Definitely enters my top 5 weapons, like today, because top 5 weapon mods by Millennia, because it's really good. I really like this one. Not completely sure if this sounds custom, I believe it is, but I'm not completely sure. Alright, so as I said, this weapon comes with two mods. We have the Hillary Barrel, which increases your damage, and the Gold Plate Finish, which will make the uh, weapon gold. So you can see now that the barrel is extremely and hilariously freaking long. I absolutely dislike the mod. <laughs> the in-game mod for the long barrel. Even though it makes your weapon more powerful, it makes it look really ugly. But the Gold Plate, it's really cool. Oh my god, just look at that, that's disgusting. Not bashing on Jubil Millennia, but it's really, really funny, <laughs> you gotta admit. Alright, so let's test this uh, golden eye weapon in a legendary deathclaw and we're gonna be right back. And yeah guys, I did say golden eye because golden eye, you know, really good game for the N64 and uh, it had golden weapons, so yeah. Let's test this weapon! So yeah, I would say it's pretty obvious that you're never gonna kill the Deathclaw with this weapon, but uh, then again, these weapons are never designed to take care of Deathclaws, but that's off topic. Really, everything I say is off topic. But anyway, the verdict for this old weapon that looks really awesome, it also looks like something from a steampunk movie or something like that, it looks really cool. But anyway, the verdict, so, the model, oh, that's a cool shot right there. The model and the texture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The model and the texture. Whenever you have the gold mod installed, the texture is not as clear because it's like really shiny. But uh, then again, I will never use this thing because otherwise I'm gonna die from a seizure because it's so shiny and bright. Oh, oh god. But yeah, <sighs> the model gets a nine. Really cool model. I like it. Why did I give it a nine? Why? Because it's kind of pointy. In some of the parts like right there you can see it's rather pointy I don't like that uh, it's, I'm just a huge bitch when it comes to perfection in the models whatever whatever but the texture the texture hmm, the texture <laughs> the texture gets a 9 plus 1 so it gets a 10 so uh, yeah <laughs> the texture gets a 10 the model gets a 9 so the overall yeah the overall score 
So yeah, it's pretty obvious that the overall score for this weapon is 9.5. Almost a perfect score, but uh, yeah. Yeah, also the this really long ass barrel made me like say fuck this. <laughs> it's funny and all, but it's just too large for me. That's what she said. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I am planning on making some playthroughs of some uh, custom mods. But uh, I'm just looking for the ideal mod. I'm thinking of making Fallout Who, but I'm not completely sure. Mm. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. That let me um, that lets me know that I that you guys actually care for these kind of videos. But whatever. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me, and uh, endorse the mod if you want to endorse it. Uh, you know, really cool stuff. Goodbye. This was MCD. Yeah. Yeah. Dead mongrel. Dead. <laughs>